The Truman State Bulldogs also look to bounce back for, for week two. The Bulldogs hosted the Malone Pioneers in an early afternoon home contest. Military Appreciation Day as well, so special helmets, decals, and shirts for the game. Jaden Barr here back to pass, and he finds Joey Shank for a 27-yard score. Great catch by Shank there, and the Bulldogs go up 7 to nothing. Second quarter action, Barr with a great executed fake here, and he finds C.J. Brown through two defenders. It's 13 yards and a touchdown, 14 to nothing Bulldogs there. Ensuing kickoff, a short kick here, but it bounces the Bulldogs' way, and Justin Mikeworth comes sliding in to give TSU another possession, and five plays later, Barr with another drop back to pass. And this one also to Joey Shank, their second connection of the day. Bulldogs are on the board again, and Barr played one series in the fourth quarter and finished with 245 yards and five touchdowns. Truman State wins 35-3. to The Kirksville Football Hall of Fame inducted two new members this morning at the Matthew Middle School. Mike Conyers was a triple threat running back, linebacker, and kicker for the Tigers. He was a prep All-American in the 1978-79 season. But today's enshrinement, Tops his football career. To be in the Hall of Fame is just, it's fantastic. Uh, to have a coach that set me on the right path, like Coach Meyer did to get me to where I am today, are all the things that you don't think that a coach has done for you, but they've done it. And I wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for Coach Meyer. Bob Carlson covered Kirksville and Truman State football for 38 years. He was behind the mic for 3,200 games. Unfortunately, Carlson passed away in 2003. He would have really enjoyed today's event. He would be overwhelmed. He loved the high school kids. He loved working with the coach. He just, he loved sports of all kinds. A lot of Indian Hills Warriors action today. Both soccer teams and the volleyball team played in weekend contest. The ranked volleyball team opened up dropping their second straight game to a top five team in Division II. IHCC got back on track, making quick work of Southwestern to move to 9-2. Then in soccer, the IHCC women lost their first game of the year in extra time. The men pulled off a big upset over ranked Iowa Central, both goals coming in the second half. In baseball, both Kansas City and St. Louis had nightcap games. The Royals ended their two-game losing streak topping the White Sox 6-5 thanks to three runs in the seventh. The, third, the Redbirds excuse me, made it two wins in a row, taking down Milwaukee 5-1. Adam Winwright went deep into that game. Let's unveil this week's winner in the third week of Play of the Week. This week, it's Davis County's Hyatt Flanagan here receiving the honor for this terrific tip drill interception. Next week's nominees are revealed tomorrow. One more thing to tell you about, Jaden Milnick and Kate Wolmering both medaled in the freshman 3K race at the Kirksville Cross Country Meet today. Nolan Carter and Emma Bushell also had good finishes.